How do you know how old new tires really are? And would you be okay with paying for new tires that were actually nine years old? That's what happened to a North Suburban woman who called the I-Team. Christine Heavey of Algonquin recently noticed that the tires she bought as new were about nine years old at the time of purchase. Come to find out that the tires were discontinued for quite a long time. Heavey bought these Goodyear tires from this Just Tires store in Mount Prospect two years ago. She says the tires were presented to her as new. I wish that they had been more transparent. Tires are not wine. They don't get better with age. Tire expert Brian Darr says that while there is no set standard on how old is too old when it comes to tires, there is a general consensus in the automotive industry. Don't sell a tire after it's six years of age. Definitely take it out of service, no matter what, at 10 years. Think of a rubber band. If it could normally stretch this far, after it ages, it can only stretch this far before it breaks. And then there's other things like the hardness of the tread. When Heavey contacted Goodyear, which owns Just Tires, they offered her a full refund of $540 for the price of the tires, which excluded $65 she paid in taxes and fees. Heavey was told she had to also return the tires to the store to be scrapped to get the refund. Goodyear told the I-Team, tire service life is not determined by chronological age. Goodyear warrants our tires from date of installation, regardless of date of manufacture. It was a little scary because I drive long distances on the expressway with this vehicle. So how can you find out the age of the tires you're buying? Look for this 10 to 12 digit Department of Transportation code on the sidewall. The last four digits are the week and the year the tires were made. You want those numbers to be within the year you're buying the tires. 3712. Heavy's yeah. tires were made in the 37th week of 2012. If she knew then what she knows now, I would have not bought them. Goodyear also cited the U.S. Tire Manufacturing Association's position, which is similar to Goodyear's. That group saying it is not aware of data that identifies a minimum or maximum service life for passenger tires that have been on a shelf. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.